when you hear the word server, the first thing that comes to your mind is this big box, this big computer. You're not wrong, but you also only have right. So I just quickly want to explain to you that a server, the word server depends on the context. Most of the time we're talking about software, even though as a beginner, when you hear the word server, you're thinking about the hardware. So yes, a big computer, even just a computer where you run applications could be called a server depending on the context. But most of the time when you use, when you use the word server, it means software. So you rent a server, right? The machine and you install server softwares on it, like a web server, right? The, the common ones are Apache and Nginx. Those are web servers, but they are software that you install on a server, on a physical server. Uh, you can ins install a MySQL database server or some kind of database server, file servers like FTP servers or email servers. So there is way different types of software that is called a server. It's basically a kind of software that accepts requests. But just naturally, when we think of server, we think of like the hardware, the computer, the big physical computer. So I just want to bring that up because I noticed most of my students think that way initially. And I want you to pay attention to context. What context are we saying the word server? And depending on the context, it could mean hardware or it can mean software. All right. My name is Adamas Kunfu. I teach QA automation and I help people get into the tech field. So check out my website, supersqa.com. I have a bunch of courses. I have a nice community a membership that you can get a really cheap membership that you can learn QA automation and become an automation engineer in a short amount of time. So check me out, supersqa.com.